Hi, um, this is Robin Bremer and you're watching Feed My People Joy and today I want to go over something that's really exciting. In fact, it's so exciting that it was not the next thing on my list I was going to share with you and I just got so excited I'm, I'm skipping ahead and sharing it with you. Uh, it's about once saved, always being saved. Now, I can preach on this. In fact, this is what I preach on, grace. But listen, I want to show something to you that I never, ever saw in the scriptures. And God showed it to me just recently, and it's so exciting to me. It's um, the first scripture that I want to show you is, um, oops, where did it go? Okay, 2 Corinthians 1.22. Let me get it here. 2 Corinthians 1.22. Okay, 2 Corinthians 1, 22. Okay. Ah, that's not it. Second, oh, 2 Corinthians. Okay. 2 Corinthians 1, 22. It says, Who also has sealed us with you in Christ has anointed us in God, who also has sealed us and given us the Spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. So once you ask Jesus into your heart, you aren't saved in, saved out. You're saved, you're not saved. You're saved, you're out. You're saved, you do a sin, you're out. No, you are sealed. I never saw this before. Once you're saved, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit. You are sealed with us and given, uh, given us and given us the Spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. He established, uh, okay, he who establishes us with you in Christ has anointed us in God and has also sealed us and given us the spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. So that's number one, you're sealed, okay? The second time God talks about being uh, that sealed or the guarantee is 2 Corinthians 5, 5. So let's go 5, 5 and see what that says. It says, now he who prepares prepared us for this very thing is God who has also given us the Spirit as a guarantee. You got the Holy Spirit as a guarantee. You are saved. Ephesians 1 3. Let's go there. Ephesians 1 3. Um, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Uh, Okay, that must not be... Okay, here it is. It's 13, not 3. In Him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit a promise, who is the guarantor of our inheritance. Ah, isn't that so exciting? I love that. I just love that. Okay, then Ephesians 4.30. 4.30. Um... And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Okay, this, you can gr you grieve the Holy Spirit when you do something stupid. It says you grieve. You, in other words, you're married. You do something that makes your husband sad. You grieve him. That doesn't mean he's going to divorce you. Well, God's the same way. You grieve the Holy Spirit, but he doesn't divorce you. He doesn't kick you out. You're no longer saved. You're going to hell. You're going to miss the rapture. That's not what it's about. It's about him. It's not about you. Okay. Um, Galatians. Okay. Um, second. Tied. Second Thessalonians two. Second Thessalonians two thirteen. Thessalonians. Okay. Second Thessalonians. Uh, two. For a second. Two. Two something. Two what? 2.13. Okay, let's see what 2.13 says. Okay, 2.13 at the end of it says, From the beginning it chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. So you're saved by the Holy Spirit and believing. So cool, I love it. And then Titus 3.5. Titus 3.5. Um, not by, okay... But when the kindness and the love of our God, our Savior, toward man appeared, not by the works of righteousness, which we have done, 
but according to his mercy he saved us through the washing and generation and renewal of the Holy Spirit whom he poured on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior that having been justified by his grace we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life okay there you go another goodie okay John uh, sanctified cleansed okay John 5 24 John 5 24 okay um, most assuredly I say to you he who hears my words and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life they shall not come into judgment believes the words Okay, so it's not by our works. And then you have Ephesians 5.20. I'm not going to go over these. There's Ephesians 5.25. .20, There's Hebrews 13.20. There's Isaiah 54.10. Thessalonians 6.47. All of them talk about how we're saved and sealed by the Holy Spirit. So I hope that gets you as excited as me. You're not in one day and out the next day. You're sealed by the Holy Spirit. It's by believing in Jesus. It's by works. That doesn't mean go out and sin and do something stupid. It's just like when you fall in love with your husband and, it, and you can do anything you want. You're not going to go out and fool around with another guy because you love your husband. But it's the same principle with God. You love God. You love Jesus. We're so grateful for what they did for you. You're not going to go out and mess up on purpose. You're going to believe in what they did for you. You're going to believe in that relationship you have. And you can conquer sin that way. So my name is Robin Bremer. My website is robinbremer.net.net. So I'll talk to you tomorrow.